We're back up here at the firing line at the range. Got the Bagara over here. It's what we're shooting today. But uh, we're gonna work on building some firing positions, just uh, working off the buzzer. Buzzer's gonna go off, hopefully build a good kneeling firing position. Do five to 10 rounds of that, and uh, we'll show you the guys the results. Give me a second to get the camera set up and we'll begin. Thirteen point seven. Try to get that down to under ten seconds. This is messy. Okay, gotta find my target before I go down. Left. That was bad, that was 18 seconds. <coughs> Fucking safety. That was a good fucking shot though. And that was also 18 seconds. First one was the best one so far. I keep losing my target in my fucking optic. I gotta work on finding the optic over the target over the turret before I go into the optic. Where I'd like to have rear tripod support or something. That was a good shot. That's fucking perfect. All right, on the money. A little long. Oh, that was 13 seconds. That was actually our best one yet. Let's do one more. And a little low. Eleven point seven seconds. I don't know why I start every fucking one like this, but wiping my inability to grow a beard here. So we just did those kneeling positions, five shots, working on the timer. Our fastest one was our last one. It was an 11.7. Um, was it the best shot? The best shot was actually the fourth one, which was 13 seconds. So I'll show you guys these here once I can get this back up my belt. Okay, so here we are. So again, these were our two groups that we shot, five round groups. This was our first one from like that typical bench position. So this was our first shot, this was 13 seconds. We're about a fucking inch off where I was aiming. I was aiming right here. So it's gonna be bottom left of the square on all these we aimed at. That was our first one. This was our second one. Uh, third one was right here. So like, like I said, I'm about an inch off there. Probably pulled that myself. This was our fourth one. This was uh, 13 seconds. Probably our best shot there, like I said. And then this was our, our last one. This was uh, 11 seconds, just, uh, I don't know, about a finger off of where I was aiming. This actually may have been our best one. Not bad. Um, let's see, one thing I noticed I was having an issue with there was I was getting into my optic before I found my target, if that makes sense. So my gun wasn't oriented in the right direction before I went into my glass. That's something I gotta work on. Um, especially with those high power optics, you got to make sure that you 
have that your body and the rifle aligned to where you're shooting before you get into your glass because it's super easy to lose it. So we just shot five more rounds. It's uh, gonna be our last five rounds of the day. We shot those two five round groups. Then we did the uh, building a firing position, low kneeling. So we shot five more rounds. And this was uh, my best group of the day so far. It's kind of what I normally shoot. Guess I just need to get a little warmed up here. I'll show it to you guys right here. So this was it here. Right here. Um, not, not horrible. Uh, got pretty much three, three rounds in the same hole. Um, we were aiming up here, top right. So I'd say this was a pretty good group for uh, that gun. It's about what it normally shoots. Quick, easy, 6.5 Creedmoor math for you. Take your distance, minus two, and that's your hold in mils for elevation. So 300 yards is what we have here. I got one mil dialed on the reticle. Um, cell phone set up so we can see those impacts. We're gonna be shooting at the uh, human size zipsick on the right hand side of that pie plate and hopefully we get five five rounds no issue at all we dialed into about 12 mils on the uh, red sorry 12 power on the reticle and let's see how it goes Ooh, I am having issues with these mag forks. It's not promoting. Okay, let's see. Should be good. Ooh, fucking perfect oh. Nice job, gents. And that's about it, folks. So that was uh, 10 rounds, 300 yards, exactly one mil. Unfortunately, that is the farthest we can shoot. Um, and the reticle, that all looked to be within about a two inch group down there on the gun, so that's not bad, I'll take that. Uh, for what it is. It's only a $1,100 production gun, so it's not the fanciest production gun that's going to be out there, but it does the job. Uh, yeah, 300 yards. Easy peasy. And I think I've said this 10 times already. I'll figure out which one I want to use. Um, drop a like. Uh, you know, whatever the YouTube gun tube bullshit that people say. Just subscribe to the channel so we can keep making good content for you guys and keep this PRS match journey a uh, thing. Uh, if you have questions, drop a comment. I'll do what I can to answer them. Thank you.